Hadrosaurs, or commonly called duck-billed dinosaurs, are the most well-known dinosaurs on the planet. They became everyone's favorite by appearing in movies, TV shows, video games, and much, much more. But who was the biggest out of the group? Here are 18 biggest hadrosaurs. Number 18, Talmatosaurus. Before we start, let's talk about the smallest of the biggest hadrosaurs. Talmatosaurus is a hadrosaur found in the country of Transylvania when it was called Hattic Island, which used to be an island during the late Cretaceous period. So, Talmatosaurus suffered from insular dwarfism along with many other dinosaurs around that time. Talmatosaurus is around 16 feet long and weighed around 1,000 pounds. That might be big to us, but keep in mind, that still makes him a small fry compared to the other contenders on this list. Number 17, Velofrons. This hadrosaur is one of the few dinosaurs found in Mexico. It also bears a resemblance to Corythiosaurus and Hypercosaurus with a crest on its head, which are also close relatives of Velofrons, FYI. Hence why Velofrons' name means sail forehead. While there are very little fossil evidence of its duck bill, experts think that Velofrons could be 24 feet long, but other experts think that they could grow up to 30 feet long when it's fully grown. Number 16. Gryposaurus. What to say about this duck bill? How about its schnoz? Unlike most hydrosaurs on this list, Gryposaurus had a big nose, which it could have used to sniff out food or water, perhaps even sniff out sneaking predators, or even for mating rights. Fossils of this duck bill can be found in the coastlines of the Western Interior Seaway from the Gulf of Mexico to the Arctic Ocean, meaning that those areas at the time would have been swamps, marshes, wetlands, and river deltas. Gryposaurus was around 27 feet long and weighed up to 10,000 pounds. Number 15, Myasaura. This is perhaps one of the many well-known duckbills on this list. Myasaura is well known for its parental care, aww, as one species was found with its nest covered in rotten vegetation and what it looks like incubation. Myasaurs were also known to travel in big herds and for not abandoning their youngs after they hatch, which how they earned the name Good Mother Lizard. Myasaur was around 30 feet long and weighed up to 10,000 pounds. Number 14, Hypracosaurus. Now this hadrosaur is one of Velofrons' relatives. You can see where Velofrons gets its family crest. Hypracosaurus could have used its crest to help with breathing since the crest did have some nasal patches in them. And also, like most hydrosaurs, Hypracosaurus could have used its crest for mating rights. Hypracosaurus was around 30 feet long and weighed up to 8,800 pounds. Number 13, Cletosaurus. If you remember Gryposaurus, then meet its bigger cousin. They both had a similar nose, but Gryposaurus still had a bigger schnoz. Cletosaurus was known for being an incomplete fossil. So Gryposaurus did help a little bit with its skeletal re reconstruction. Did you know that many people once thought that Cretosaurus' name meant noble lizard because of the arc in its nasal bone bore has a superficial resemblance to the hook nose associated with classical Roman mobility, but in reality, its name actually means separated lizard, which is a reference to the separate cheekbones of the hull type of the skull. The estimate size of Cretosaurus is around 30 feet long and weighs up to 4,000 pounds. Number 12, Corythiosaurus. Here's another cousin of Velfrons, but unlike Hypracosaurus, Corythiosaurus is more well known. While both had rounded crests, Corythiosaurus had a bigger crest and resembled most like that of a castaway crest or a Corythian helmet, hence how it got its name. The biggest species of Corythiosaurus was around 31 feet long, but the heaviest Corythiosaurus was around 6,157 pounds. Number 11. Parasaurolophus. Now here's a hadrosaur that everyone's familiar with. Parasaurolophus is known for its backward curved crest. But like most hadrosaurs on this list, experts have been wondering what was the purpose of the crest for? 
was it used as a weapon, a snorkel, a storage for salt glands, a creature of a sense of smell? Well, luckily, in 1997, a team in New Mexico had took the skull of a well-preserved fossil that they found two years before to a hospital to get a CT scan. The result of the crest was its hollow and it led to the answer that the crest was used for communication. The team did a recreation of the sound on what Paris Rolf was sound like and it used the sound to attract females or warn herds about a dangerous predator in the area. Don't worry, I'll leave a link to the video of the sounds in the descriptions. Parasaurolophus was around 31 feet long and weighed up to 5,000 pounds. Number 10 Lambiosaurus. Now, there's been a lot of Crested Hadrosaurs on this list so far, and there will be more to come. But believe it or not, they do have their own group name. The group name is called Lambiosaurids, and this duckbill is the first of the group to be discovered. Only two confirmed fossils of Lambiosaurus have been found so far, one in Montana and one in Alberta. Lambiosaurus is known for two things, one, for its hatchet-shaped crest and for being named after its discoverer, Dr. Lawrence Morris Lamby. Lambiosaurus also had a big eye socket, which meant it had a good sense of vision too. Lambiosaurus was around 30 to 31 feet long and weighed up to 11,200 pounds. Number 9 Charon No Saurus. No, this is not a repeat, nor did I say Tyrannosaurus. This is Charon No Saurus. Parasaurolophus is Asian cousin. Now, like its more well known North American cousin, Charon No Saurus could have used its crest in a similar manner. Did you know that Charonosaurus earned its name because it was named after Charon, who was Hades' ferryman in Greek mythology, who had transported the souls of the deceased from the land of the living across the river Styx into the land of the dead. Charonosaurus was around 33 feet long, and its weight is unknown at this time. Sorry. Number 8. Centaurosaurus. Next to Coryosaurus and Perseurolophus, Centaurosaurus is one of the most well-known heterosaurs because of its unicorn-like crest. Well, it used to have a unicorn-like crest. In 2013, two men named Alberto Brito Marquez and Jonathan Wagner, if I'm pronouncing those names wrong, I apologize, had did a reconstruction on the skull and revealed that Centaurosaurus's crest looked more similar to that of the average Lambiosaurus crest. Not gonna lie, that's kind of a bit of a bummer. Centaurosaurus was around 33 feet long and weighed up to 5,000 pounds. Number 7 Hepsibema Misesurius. Now, this dinosaur has a bit of a political background, but there's not enough time for that. Although Hypsibemia Misesurius does have a cool backstory on its discovery, which there is time for that. The fossils were actually discovered by a family named the Cornisters, who were doing some yard work on their farmland when they found the 13 tailed vertebrae embedded in black plastic clay. They later showed them to a man named Dinosaur Dan, who later reported to the Smithsonian Institute, and they bought the fossils for $15, which the family used later to buy a cow. Hepsibema Misesurius was around 30 to 35 feet long and weighed up to 2,000 pounds. Number 6 Brachylophosaurus When it comes to mummies, half of the world have their people mummified. In Montana, they have their dinosaurs mummified. Brachylophosaurus is known for the four mummified fossils that were found, but one fossil named Leonardo is the most famous of all these fossils. Well, he isn't the first mummy dinosaur to be found. Leonardo is known for being so well preserved, it has soft tissues from all over the body and for having parasites in him. Wait, maybe he wasn't that lucky. The biggest species of Brachylophosaurus 
was around 36 feet long and weighed up to 15,400 pounds. Number 5. Edmontosaurus. Now here's a duckbill that you may know by many different names. Ever since its discovery, Edmontosaurus went by the names of Anatosaurus, Anatotitan, Trachodon, and Hatosaurus. Edmontosaurus did became a whole and different creature until 2013. While Edmontosaurus is known for being found in Canada, including Edmonton, Alberta, right where it gets its name stick from, but other fossils have been found in Montana, South Dakota, Wyoming, Texas, and even in Alaska. Edmontosaurus was around 30 to 39 feet long and weighed up to 6,000 pounds. Number 4. Oro Titan. Now, out of all the crested duckbills on the list so far, Oro Titan takes a spot on the biggest and the flashiest crest of all. The purpose of its mm, getting like crest is unknown at this time, or it could be used for main rights. Yeah, let's just go with that. Now, what makes Oro Titan unique other than its crest is that it's one of the few dinosaurs to be found in Russia, along with Coronosaurus. And I kid you not, the name literally means giant swan. Oro Titan was 39 feet long and weighed up to 12,000 pounds. Number 3. Sorolophus. Now, if this duck bill looks familiar to some people out there, well that's because this is what Ducky from the Land Before Time is supposed to be. Sorolophus is known for its short crest, which, for unlike Parasorolophus, only had one function, and that was for display during May season. But experts think that only males had them. Canadian species of Sorolophus were around 27 feet long and weighed up to 6,000 pounds. But Asian species were around 43 feet long and weighed up to 22,000 pounds. Number 2. Magnapolia. Now, America has had a lot of hadrosaurs throughout its history. But Magnapolia is the biggest of the big. Like Velfrons, Magnapolia was also one of the few dinosaurs to be found in Mexico. And its name means Large Paul because it was named after Paul G. Haggard Jr., who is the president of the Board of Trustees of the Los Angeles County Museum of Natural History. Magnapolia was around 41 feet long and weighed up to 50,800 pounds. Now, before I get to number one, here is a quick honorable mention. In the Fruitland Formation in New Mexico, there is a giant hadrosaur that could be bigger than our number one contender. But until there's more information on this guy, the Fruitland Hadrosaur shall be an honorable mention. Number one, Chatungosaurus. If Coronosaurus is Parasaurolophus' Asiatic cousin, then meet Edmontosaurus' Asian cousin, Chatungosaurus, was found in the coastal provinces of Shandong, China, and only five incomplete fossils of his duckbill have been found. Like a sauropod, Shatungosaurus could have used its size to protect itself and young lynx against predators like Velociraptor and Zhuteng Tyrannus. Shatungosaurus was around 54 feet long and weighed up to 32,000 pounds. That was one big boy. So, congratulations Shatungosaurus for being the biggest hadrosaur.